Today we are going to start a new series of lectures about the role of kidneys in the long term regulation of arterial pressure. We are discussing the cardiovascular system and so far we have discussed the role of a nervous system. We have discussed the role of nervous system in detail in the control of arterial pressure. But basically the control of arterial pressure is both at the short term and the long term. Now the short term control of arterial pressure is basically with the help of the nervous system and nervous system basically control the arterial pressure for the short term with the help of peripheral resistance. It increases or decreases the peripheral resistance by increasing or decreasing the uh, diameter of the blood vessels. Similarly, it decreases, increase or decrease the capacitance of the blood vessels and increase or decrease the cardiac pumping ability. So the nervous system, the nervous system basically helps in the short term control of the arterial pressure and the nervous system basically this is a blood vessel. Now when this blood vessel gets constricted, when it gets constricted the resistance, the resistance here in the, the blood flow the blood will flow with much difficulty to this constricted blood vessel. So it increases the peripheral resistance and when it dilates the blood vessel, for example, this is a small blood vessel and it gets dilated, the capacitance increases, the capacitance of the blood vessel increases. Similarly, the nervous system directly increase or decrease the cardiac pumping ability with the help of nervous system, with the help of sympathetic or parasympathetic system. Now this short term control with the help of nervous system is something which we have discussed in detail. Now the main uh, the main topics of our uh, lectures are the uh, role of the kidney, the role of kidney in the long term control. Now long term control, long term control is basically is with the help of homeostasis of the body fluids. Long term control of arterial pressure long term control of arterial pressure is with the help of homeostasis of the uh, body fluids and in the body in the homeostasis of body fluids the most important thing is the balance is the balance between the fluid intake and fluid output balance is important now this balance between the fluid intake and fluid output is with the help of the nervous control with the help of the hormonal control and it is with the help of the renal control. But we are mostly going to focus on the renal control and we are going to discuss in detail uh, in the coming lectures uh, the renal system involvement, uh, the involvement of the renal system or involvement of the kidneys in the regulation of the arterial pressure. Now there is a one most important mechanism which is basically used by the uh, renal uh, system to to balance the fluid intake and fluid output so that the body fluid remains the same or it remains the homeostasis is maintained now if the homeostasis is maintained it means that the blood vessels the blood vessels will will remain the same uh, their caliber or their diameter will remain the same and the pressure inside the pressure inside the blood vessel will remain the same it will not it will neither increase it will nor decrease or homeostasis will be maintained now how this homeostasis is basically maintained with the help of kidneys with the help of kidneys there is a system known as the renal body fluid system renal body fluid system and the renal body fluid system simply means that when a person increase the intake of fluid, when a person increase the intake of fluid, the blood volume basically increase in the blood vessels, the blood volume increase, which leads to increase in the pressure, increase in arterial pressure occurs. And this increase in arterial pressure leads to increase urine output. It causes increased urine output. Basically, it increases the urine output. And this increase in urine output due to increase in the arterial pressure is known as 
pressure diuresis pressure diuresis now once the pressure once the arterial pressure has increased the body with the help of the kidney or the renal control is trying to bring back the arterial pressure to the normal level and this uh, this is basically uh, trying to maintain the homeostasis homeostasis of the body fluid now the nervous system it was increasing or decreasing the caliber of the blood vessels but the kidneys is trying to increase or decrease the fluid or the amount of fluid or the blood volume that is present inside the blood vessel the kidneys are not directly influencing the caliber of the blood vessel rather it is main trying to maintain the volume which is why we are saying the homeostasis of body fluid now when it the fluid increase due to any reason the arterial pressure will definitely increase and increase in arterial pressure will cause increase in urine output or uh, it will basically double the uh, the fluid output or the water output that that increase in the fluid output or the water output or the urine output is basically known as the pressure diuresis now at the same time due to increase in the arterial pressure not only will the fluid output increase but the salt uh, the salt output will also increase salt output salt output will also increase and this increase in the salt output from the uh, body or the sodium output or the ions output from the body is known as pressure natriuresis pressure natriuresis so to summarize the lecture the short term control of the arterial pressure was basically with the help of the nervous system and nervous system was controlling the arterial pressure of the human body with the help of increasing decreasing the peripheral resistance increasing decreasing the capacitance of the blood vessels and increasing decreasing the pumping ability of the heart that was the short term control of arterial pressure and that was mostly with the help of the nervous system the in the long term control the kidneys are very important and that's why we are discussing the role of kidneys in the long term re regulation of arterial pressure and this long term uh, achievement or long term control of the arterial pressure is with the help of homeostasis of the body fluid the impound the the amount of fluid in the human body is maintained at a constant level and that is known as homeostasis of body fluid now how this is maintained it is maintained by maintaining the balance between intake and output the balance between intake and output is maintained by the renal system or the kidneys and this this balance is maintained with the help of nervous system hormonal system and renal system or the kidney but the most important component are the kidneys or the renal system so the 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 role of the kidneys are very much important in the long term control and in the long term control the mechanism used by the renal system the renal control or the kidneys is renal body fluid system the renal body fluid system simply means that when the volume of the body fluid goes up the volume of body fluid goes up due to intake or any reason the arterial pressure also increases the arterial pressure also increases and due to the increase in the arterial pressure the the fluid output increase due to increase in arterial pressure the fluid output also increase and this increase in fluid output due to increase in the arterial pressure is known as pressure diuresis and at the same time due to increase in the arterial pressure there is increased output of the salt from the human body and this increased output of the salt or the sodium or uh, ions from the body due to increased pressure is known as pressure natriuresis so with the help of renal body fluid system pressure diuresis and pressure natriuresis the kidneys are playing their role in the long term regulation of arterial pressure now how the renal system is playing its role 
is uh, something which we are going to discuss in the coming lectures in detail. Thanks a lot for watching the videos.